Right, good morning, it's Patriot Magnus, we're here on the Rochdale Canal again. This is a revisit for a bridge that I did a few months back. Got family member Danny with us, um, if you remember him from the viewer location. First one, so we'll put a link up to the top there, so you can have a watch of that. Loads of chaff canisters here, bit of a Bob Marley bag over there and some JD and Coke cans. So someone's had a party last night. So hopefully, we've thrown some stuff in there, <laughs> yeah? Uh, we're going to do this little bit and there's a lock over there which we're going to have a little tickle in, so hopefully we'll find something good. Right, so we're just setting up, as you can see, as we said on the intro video, a load of chaff canisters, the box, we'll get rid of them. Very rare as well in Rochdale, there's half a bifter. There we are, bit of JD Canco, bit of Bob Marley bags. Balloon for ballooning about. There we are. Rizzler papers. Lock stock the lot. <laughs> it's a bit random, isn't it? Someone's kex on that as well. Yeah. It's a big baby gate, that, isn't it? <laughs> it's heavy. Right, so I've got my 500 with me. I've never done the 500 here, so... I've been dying to revisit this place, so I'm going straight under the bridge. Oh, that's that fishing lure. Sick. <laughs> oh, yeah. That. And Danny's got his get a fishing lure already. Nice fishing lure. <laughs> Always fancied a pike looking one. A battery on the back. Yeah, that's a good one though. <laughs> it's fishing war day. Another one. Old chap, second lure of the day. It's quite a good then. Old tango can on the back. Nice. See that a drill bit? That's a weird screw, isn't it? Keeper. Okay, let's see what's in here. Oh yeah. Oh. Anyone know what that is? Like piping off something. Tap. Let's tip it out. See what all this is. It just looks like it's piping for something. Let's 
taps, whatever these are. Someone's cut them off something, haven't they? Yeah. Right. Well, that was in that bag. So we'll keep trying. We'll let that dry out and get rid of them. Oh, it's pennies. Pennies. Oh, we've got some pennies. And we've got another low. Part of the spinner. Uh, two p. Right. Two pence. Oh, stop, it's got a shank. Oh, yes. Oh, <laughs> there we go. Oh, there we go. First shank of the day. Excellent. Lots there, pretty lethal. Definitely do a bit of damage, that. You don't know what that is, lads? Girls? No idea. Sharp metal. Handles plastic, though. Part of a key. Keep that. All right, what's this? Safe draw, that. Safe draw. Yep, that's a safe draw. And Ted Baker keyring. But yeah, safe draw. So there might be. Yeah. What's this? Got a lighter. Oh, he's got it. This, Daddy, what's this? This a lot. Oh yeah, it's like a, it's like a, it's called a feather line, so it's like for sea fishing. Mm. And yeah, one of them. there's about ten of them on one line, and you drop it in, you're meant to be catching mackerel in them. No mackerel, really. There's no mackerel in here, no. So they're called the feathers. So they can, though. True. And explain about mackerel. <laughs> <laughs> so we're on the canal. And um, I don't know if you can see that, but some feathers for sea fishing, mackerel fishing maybe. Uh, you know what it is. Ten of them on a line, drop it over the end of your boat. And um, no but here, there's no right? mackerel in the Borsha Canal that that we know about. Oh. Ended up with oh, There's something down there, but we've ended up pulling a fork. <laughs> a washer, part of a kid's bell. There's something, they're getting more interesting than yeah. they're getting more interesting. Oh, hang on, we've got this new. Oh, no, don't go. Don't trick me. Don't trick me.
You always get a scooter, don't you? Showing it. You're so, fine, man. There's always a scooter in every car. I think we're attached to three bikes here. Fishing reels and everything. Oh, we knew it, didn't we? We knew it. It's a proper jumble of mess. Nice bit of rope. Rather than have the bomb squad in the back garden and all that. Probably from the garden. Maybe, yeah. Really, so no, I have to edit that, aren't I? Yeah. See what Danny's pulled out? Oh, yeah. Chopper? Proper one. That's old school, that. That's mint. See, look at, look at the shape of that old head. Yeah. It's a keeper, that, man. Oh, yeah. Well done. That's a nice axe, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Workman's fence. Oh, I know. <laughs> Obviously, got reopened. Someone reopened it by kicking it in the water. Put the camera on this. Just let them know that obviously someone reopened it at some point. Look at Danny there, with signs. Footpath clove, warning men at work. I think we'll have that one. You having that? I think we'll have that sign men at work. Yeah, yeah, we'll have that. Next time we go magnet fishing, put it up. <laughs> <laughs> warning men at work. Tell you exactly what that is. Not even cracking find. I love these. All right, this is Danny's first um, handcuff key slash anti-vandal key. All right. There's a close-up of it. So what these do is on the locks here, you have a little box sometimes to open it so no one can get in. And you need one of these so you can um, Get in the undo the lock. Yeah. That's a cool find. There you go. Somebody's dropped that then, haven't they? Yeah. Someone on a boat. Yeah. We on it. Oh yeah. I think this might be an axe head. Let me have a look at this. I think that might be, like I say, an axe head, a hatchet head. One. Well, it's roughly the same. Yeah. Oh, it's got an hole in it as well, so. Yeah, it is. Cool. Right, me and Danny are back from a cracking morning, only out for a couple of hours. It was nice out, so I thought we'd get out for a bit. Early hours as well. Right, uh, where do we start with this? So. Let's start off with these little bits here. It is raining as we're doing this, but it's not going to stop us, is it? It would be right. 
There we go, a bit of a washer. Some, uh, some money. The usual, the usual guys. Start off with these. Little bottle caps, not had one of them before, so I don't think I've had an old mount. Love that drink. Anyway, enough of that. Right, what's this we've pulled up? Um, Ted Baker London, uh, quite a decent make. Uh, body wear, not canal wear, body wear. This here, part of an old bell. Probably off someone's bike, back in the day, ding ding, all that. This will be some sort of handle for a clip. I don't know what happened then, but we had a bit of a bit of a keeler then, didn't we? A bit of a phone keeler. There we go. Yeah, clip or something. Any old clippy lighter. Blue, excellent colour. Uh, we've got loads of fishing apparatus today. Uh, Danny pulled this up. So, uh, yeah, rest your fishing rod on it. Screws into something. That's what I think, anyway. Let's have a look at this. We've got this here, this reel. Um, I don't know what saw it is. It's got a make on it somewhere. When it's ready. There we are, sunshine. Sunshine. It's either a 5.7 or an S7 1000. Means absolutely nothing to me, that. Absolutely nothing. There you go. Uh, going along with the fishing themes, there's some floats. Someone's lower here. Looks like they've um, done a little design themselves. Treated the cells. Made in France. This here we're all tangled up. You don't see the canal trust going on about tangled up um, fishing line, do you? But anyway, that's another story. There you go, look at that. Don't even know what it's for, but it's tangled up. Something to do with fishing anyway. Danny explained about it on the vid. Look at this dude here. Scrubbed up our item, didn't I? Uh, Savage Gear, I think it's called. Yeah. So I don't know what the hell you're trying to uh, catch with that, but it's a big one. This little rubber dude. Same again. I don't know what you're catching with them. Tri hook, triple hook, whatever you call it, and one on its back. Here's another part of a. Is it part of a float, part of a spinner? I don't know. Right, what else we got? This is a cracking find. I love these. Anti-vandal key. Or a handcuff key, they're called. Excellent. Adding to the collection that. Right, let's get on with these bolts. This here looks like a huge rivet. That's a big one, that. Quite heavy, actually. Right, look at the uh, look at the artwork on this beauty. Look at that, eh? Never seen one like that before. Got a rounded head. Well, I think it's ended up rounded. Uh, there's the end of it. Looks like it's going to be going into a, a threaded, but I don't know. These two nails. Obviously we don't know what we're pulling up, so we just bring it home and see. Uh, just a random bar, that. These two spikes. I don't know if they're classed as nails, these or what. But they're quite heavy. Decent size. Random fork. That you got on the back, stainless steel Japan. Love my keys and my locks, so I love these two. 
yeah, this one's quite different because it's only got like a short, stubby um, key mechanism and then a big fat head. Actually, has three initials on it. A U D. And I don't know what this is. Whether it's part of a paintbrush, roller brush, spray brush. I don't know. It's got that end as well. That dog needs to bark some more, doesn't it? Um, yeah, Danny pulled this up within a few minutes. Uh, we had a fisherman come by and said, oh, you won't find anything here, lads. It's already been done. People down here, they've got everything. La, 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 ta, da, da. And what do you find? A nice little uh, jibber. And that just didn't fall in, did it? Come on, we know the dance. Right, two special um, finds of the day. Danny pulled this beauty up. This axe. Get rid of that. Now it has got some initials on it, and it does. I think it says K21, and then some markings, but I don't know. But that is a beauty. And with it being raining, you can't hardly see what's on it and that. But I think what I'm going to do is get rid of this because it's actually coming apart there, and do some electrolysis on that. But we'll get some pictures of that baby. Um, Anthony, if you know what sort of uh, axe head that is, please drop me a comment. And you've got this one here, one of my favourite. I pulled this baby up. There we go. Um, I did email Manchester Museum about it because it's not got no markings on it or nothing. Just for him to have a nose, yeah. They said it's quite a few hundred year old, that. So that's a beauty. Only had that in electrolysis for about two hours. So I'm going to knock this part off and then put it in for probably a couple more hours. And that is, my friends, excellent. Love that. Always want to find an axe head singly on its own. And now I've done it, so I'm cross that off the list. Right, so thanks to the new subscribers, the old ones, and the current ones. Much appreciated. Drop your comments down below. Love your comments, love your feedback. And um, if there's anything in here that's called differently in your country or described differently, please let me know. And uh, same again, we'll probably see you all on the Rochdale Canal. Take care.